I'm Virginia McGathy here on the floor at the CME Group reporting on the grain market. Today, soybeans were up. The market really hit a three-week high. Uh, it didn't really sustain it all that much, but it did get there. Traders are really watching the weather in South America. Uh, there is some rains in Argentina coming, and uh, that kind of uh, brought in a few of the sellers. The demand also was weak for the U.S., and I think some of the profit-taking came in. Everyone wants to get a little bit off the table. It did, uh, although, hold up the corn market. Corn was steady today. The futures were trading, were really uh, uh, treading water today, just trading on both sides of, of uh, unchanged. Uh, overnight, the market was higher. And then uh, after the USDA showed that uh, there was, you know, lagging in export sales, the market then turned back around and ended up unchanged. And so we really had a, a perfectly sideways moving uh, market to end the first week of 2018. Wheat also was lower. That warm up ahead really cooled that rally. Uh, the profit taking uh, really jumped in on this as the first week of, of 2018. Ends, and traders were really locking in those profits as uh, the uh, wheat made it to an, a three-week high. Now we know that the frigid temperature temperatures are still here, but there is, uh, you know, the the forecast is that it's going to be warming up uh, down the road. And we also know that because of uh, the nature of how, what a frigid um, weather will do to the winter wheat, it really isn't going to tell us exactly what kind of damage to the crop uh, would be until uh, for a few months now. So uh, with that in mind, it makes it a little bit difficult to, uh, to keep the market rallying. So it kind of puts a lid on the rally and uh, the fact that it's Friday here, a few uh, profit takers stepping in and kind of pressing the market. Not really that much, only down about three cents, but it still gave it uh, a little bit uh, of heat to keep this market lower. That's all from the floor of the CME Group here in Chicago. I'm Virginia McGathy.